Hello everybody, this is Mark Blanton from The Real South Africa. And I am Latasha Blanton, also with The Real South Africa. And you guys are welcome to sunny South Africa. If this is your first time, this is your opportunity to come with Phil Scott with his channel. And they will be here on March 16th through the 25th, 2022. The cost does include the flight, most meals, and your domestic flight in country from Johannesburg to Cape Town. The cost is $5,500 per person sharing and $6,150 per person one in a single room. Now, at this point, you don't need any extra shots. The only thing you need to do is have a negative COVID test prior to you leaving. And then, of course, upon departure, you will get you another COVID test. And then that's it. So that's really all you need. And, of course, a passport. So no shots, no vaccines, no nothing. Just get to South Africa. We'll see you here. Hello fam, welcome back to the African Diaspora News Channel. I am Ungil Zalalem bringing you this report. Today's report is about Somalia minister clashing with um, an MP from the UK. A minister in Somalia's government has lashed out at a UK MP pushing for recognition of the breakaway region of Somaliland. Jamal M. Hassan, who is from Somaliland, accused MP Gavin Williamson of lacking facts about the issue. The minister referred to the time when the MP was fired from the UK government. Mr. Williamson was sacked as defense minister in 2019 following an inquiry into a leak from a top-level National Security Council meeting. He denied leaking the information. His motion in the UK Parliament on Tuesday to have the Somaliland region recognized as an independent state was adjourned. Somaliland declared independence after the overthrow of Somali military dictator Said Bayer in 1991. It's not officially recognized by any country as an independent state. So the tweet that Gavin Williamson made was Quote, this shows a complete lack of understanding of the political reality on the ground. It's important for junior ministers to listen to parliament as it is the role of parliament to have a say on policy. Yesterday showed there is a broad consensus for UK government to recognize Somaliland. So he was responding to another person called Vicky Ford because she tweeted it is for Somaliland and federal government of Somalia to decide their future. So the minister responded, no, this actually shows your complete ignorance of the situation on the ground. Someone disgracefully fired from his own government for leaking national security information has no business meddling in the internal affairs of a sovereign nation. Supporting cessation only adds insult to injury. This is what we are saying no more to as Africans. Let us figure out our problems, our own selves. Who are you to meddle in between those two nations? I know right now uh, Somaliland is not seen as, you know, like other countries don't see it as a nation. But at the same time, they have separated even though people do not accept it. I'm not going to say I'm this side or that side. At the end of the day, the information I get is from mainstream media and I do not trust them. So I need a person that is from that nation to come and explain to me what exactly is going on because you might think you know something but you might be getting the information from somebody that has a different agenda so that is why i'm not going to be quick to uh, pick a side and there's no need to even pick a side at the end of the day our focus is to unite africa it's not to divide africa but we need to listen to the people we need to let the people decide for themselves so what is this mp from the uk like what does he know about somaliland why why does he feel comfortable to belittle the person that was tweeting let them solve their own problems and that is accurate that is a fact and that is what needs to happen we're people the same way you in the uk in the us you have a right to choose who you want what you want and what you want to do we have every right to do that stop meddling in our business and allow us to make our decisions for our own country for our own people that's what i have to say about this but as far as you know what they were arguing about i want to ask the people of Somalia to let us know down below what exactly what is really going on on the ground we really love to know anyways guys let us know down below what your thoughts are about this topic I am Wangil Zalalem I'll see you on the next one bye colonization never ended in the white supremacist system 
And as we see today, the colonization is in the mind. Now, those who have been enslaved and those who have been colonized, we're still dealing with the remnants of that through the colonization of the mind. Pick up my book, Seven Steps to Decolonize the Mind, and we will help deprogram you from the colonization that was put upon you by generations and generations of white supremacy. You can pick it up today on Amazon.com.